skip counting or a count by is going to be also a very valuable strategy for students to have for division. In this strategy, we have 15 divided by 5 is our equation. 15 is our dividend or our total number of items. And 5 is going to be the size of our groups or the divisor. So we are going to count by 5 until we reach 15. So one way I remind the students when we start this to help them is that we do not count by the total number of items. The total number of items is the biggest number and especially when there's a large number here, it should be a clue to them that they're going to be using the either the divisor or the quotient, if they have the quotient in an unknown divisor, um, as the number they will skip count by. And they will always be skip counting to find the dividend when it is provided. They will not be skip counting by the dividend. So we're going to skip count by 5 until we get to 15. So 5, 10, 15. Then we stop and then we count how many times did we have to count by 5 to reach 15. We counted one, two, three times. So the quotient is three. There are three equal groups of five when we divide 15 by five. Now I'm going to show you another example of skip counting when the unknown is the divisor instead of the quotient. So sometimes students will be given a problem where it will be um, 15 divided by an unknown number equals 3. So they give them the quotient instead of the divisor. So they still solve the problem the same way, really. They can use a skip count. This time we're going to skip count by 3 until we get to 15. So this time we'll count by 3's. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. We reached 15, so we stop. Now we're going to count how many times we skip counted by 3 to get to 15. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we can see that our missing divisor was 5. So that's we can use skip counting also to find the unknown when the divisor is the unknown and not just the quotient.